Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this Friday, the uh, 6th of um, 6th of October. And I think before I even get started, we have a guest. Am I correct? Do we have a guest for the show at this particular moment? My engineer, L. Well, Basil, there's a 50-50 chance that it's Larry Pesavento, but yes, I'm here. I have uh, Which COVID. 50? I've had it now for five days. It's not life-threatening. and It's just basically a nuisance of the head cold and stuff, but I'm not able to talk very much. The only reason I'm on here is for the folks to pay very, very close attention to the bond market and the gold market. Both of those markets are poised to make reversals here in the next two days, if I'm correct on the timing. And uh, the whole world has bearish the bonds, as they should be. But we should get one big rally here to scare them. So I'm just alerting you to watch those two markets. So, so Larry, I'm, I, not I, sure, I'm not sure if you're actually able to see your, the charts, but I have a monthly um, US, this is the 30-year T-bond continuous contract. And I have a measured huh. move here which goes to either October or November to go to the low that was made back in August of 2013. If you count the number of months to the midpoint that I, I chose, which was the October 2018 low at 123, well, that was uh, it's a continuous contract, so it gets changed at 125 and a half. This is the measured move that I had, so it comes in around right about here. So I'm rather intrigued to see what's going to happen, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep everything that you said in mind because there is yeah. the, the move the move in bonds, certainly the last three three weeks, going from the 119 to 109, I mean, 10 points in an instrument yeah, that a, used to— we had a 108 handle today. 108.28 was the handle today, so— And this is an instrument— down, yeah. This is an instrument that used to be called the safety factor. Not anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. Listen, yeah. I, I'm, I can only speak for a few minutes otherwise, but I should be hopefully be ready on Monday. But thanks for the information, and uh, uh, keep up the great work. And I miss the guys ever, ever over there at TFNN, but I we, should be back Monday, hopefully. We, we're hoping that you get better real soon, and if there's a chance, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to be able to fill in for your hour. I know that it's sure not the have. same I'm thing, but I will try my best. So much, thank you, thank you very much, Al uh, Basil. Okay. <laughs> thank you for calling, Larry. Look after yourself. Hope to see you on Monday, right here. Yeah. Okay. Thank see you. See you later. Fun. Bye bye. Good. Bye bye. So, folks, let me just do this. We've got the Dow down 236. Well, first of all, the bonds are down almost two points. This you would think. Uh, the previous big move down, that big acceleration on the, what would date was that? I think that was September the 26th, 25th. You would have thought that that would have been uh, an acceleration like that would get, would get you closer to the end of the run, to the downside. It hasn't really worked that way. So let me just do this. I'm going to do the, the, the uh, TYX, which is the yield. And that's in leg E in the daily chart. In the Chapman Wave methodology, it's a GSAS C in the weekly chart and an F, but it could be an F slash B in the um, monthly chart. That, all those letters mean absolutely nothing. The price is way above, in each one of these, the price is way above the nine period moving average. The nine is way above the 14. They are way above the 50 period moving average. They are all way above the 200 period moving average, which is actually at 39. And here we are at 50. And the MACD is very strong. The stochastic's flat at 91%, but just starting to show a little bit of weakening, but still very strong. The relative strength, this little gray line, is still strong. So it's telling us that. To, to be able to see a trend change that is not just a, a one-off, one that really impacts the weekly chart, that's the intermediate term chart, this middle one, 
you would have to see this green period moving average go underneath the 14 period moving average quite sharply. So that means you'd have to see 45, 50, that's 4.55. And here we are at 5.0600, that is 5.00. Uh, that's what you'd have to get to get a change that really impacts the weekly chart. So this is a work in progress, and I, it's going to be tough to make a, a meaningful change. If you're looking at gold, and that's what Larry was talking about, look, gold, whoops, where did I type that? Let me type it right here. Uh, click. There it is. Let me type in the gold. Here we go. At GC, there's a continuous contract. Yes, there's a candle right here that says... Uh, it's attempting to form some kind of a bottom. You've had your one-to-one -one in the uh, more than a one-to, just over a one-to-one -one in the propeller shaft pattern that I talk about in the weekly chart. I had spent some time on that. Let's go to the GDX because that you can see it a little clearer. So the GDX is the miners. I like when the miners lead the gold. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's, it's just it, it's just something that over the years is something that I've developed as a as a, um, a forefront, as kind of a, a signal that says, keep, a, keep in mind that when the gold miners, not the gold contract, but the miners themselves are starting to act weak and gold is holding up, you're going to see gold fall. And if miners are acting a little bit better, and here we are for the second session, moving up after the low that was made at 25.62, on the fourth, that's uh, just three sessions ago. That's going to be really important. So in this particular context, um, yeah, you've got a perfect one-to-one. -one. This is Chapman Wave um, inverted for, oh, it's technical Friday today. So let me just show you the charts that we're looking at here. So I have a particular pattern. It's this pattern here where the price moves up sharply and then starts to make lower highs and lower lows. And then it forms a kind of a cup formation or a V-shaped formation, and it takes out the upper declining trend line. I call it a falling axe because it's, look, it looks like a falling axe. But it's really, a more sophisticated way would say, it's an expanding declining cone formation. <laughs> All right, too many words. So here we are. You break that. That means you can go in a cup formation or V-shaped formation using that now. What was a repellent line now becomes a propellant line. And all of a sudden, you're talking about going back to that high. Well, if it's inverted, I've got exactly the same choice. Even the lettering is upside down. Look what you've got. You've got a sharp move down. Then you're making much higher highs and higher lows. And then you arch over. In this case, it's a double arch. And you take out the support level. That means you can go. In this particular instance, I drew it in as a one-to-one -one expansion, this is the same uh, methodology here as it, as it was on the, this, I mean, it's on the upside, where it goes to a Chapman Wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. Now, when I say parallel, I mean that it isn't a bumpy ride. It is the number of bars from the top to the bottom. This is your, in a sense, it's the uh, TF and N um, lightning bolt pattern that everyone talks about. Um, and it goes, this is not not peak and trough in the Chapman Wave methodology. This is your A to B line goes to the C to D line. So we went there, we went a tad under it, and now we're a little bit above. So when Larry says there's a chance that we could have some kind of a, uh, some kind of a balance, I'm going to talk about this in the context of the uh, charts themselves, and we'll go through all these different, uh, different uh, indices very carefully. Up back, that was down 201. Not bad for a day that should have been minus 500. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians. And what we're looking at today is uh, the Dow is now down 218. So this is really important. The low yesterday, uh, two days ago in the Dow was uh 32873. So far, the low today is 32862. So we've gone to a trough G, alternate count G slash D. So that, let me just type this in here for those of you who use Chapman Wave methodology. Um, so I put an SC there and I'll make it a D here. So is it going to be one of those sessions where now let me go through this in my methodology there's a technique that i use that has bar symmetry what is bar symmetry it means if you go from a particular price point and then you rally and you make an arch formation you fail at an a or a b or it doesn't matter what it fail at but if it starts to roll over there's a measurement that you can take if you're able to identify the midpoint, sometimes it takes a little while, sometimes the midpoint, that plumb line, has to be moved. But if you can identify it, it means that you can get a measured move back to that point. And in this particular instance, let me make this a little wider, you've got a measured move from the 32,586 low of May, May the 25th, in the Dow, and then there was a bounce at a peak A and a pullback, but it had a higher high. And that higher high was at 32,704. Well, that created for me some kind of a cushion level on a worst case basis. If there was a turn down that took out this 34,029 low that was made back in August. So we went up to 35,679, August the 1st. That's where we short. We still shorted right at the, the high of that, um, uh, that day. This is the, the, 
the recovery high from August the 1st. We do have a long position that might be taken out very soon, just a real short term because we've raised a tremendous amount of cash. Um, one of our higher cash positions that we've had in quite a long time. So within that context, as a trade, we've got a three times long down position. Um, we've got a very tight stop. I could have tightened the stop this morning even more, but I said, no, let's give it a little room. Why? Because within the context of everything we're looking at here, and I'm going to go to that in a moment, um, this measured move says right here, it says right today, the 6th of uh, October, is the day where there should have been, if there's a precise measured move, and I also have the Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line giving the exact, this is the day <laughs> that on this line. Now, the, the Dow doesn't know that. The chart knows it because it's written on the chart. But in real life, the Dow couldn't care less. It just, it's doing what it's going to do. So now that we've taken out this left side low, this is now in leg D. The stochastics at nine uh, stochastics at nine percent. That is in the very negative area because it's single digits. The MACD. Look at the histogram. It's so wide, and look at the way it, it, there there is no be, be no relief at all. So that just says the intensity of the selling had to have some catalyst, and today would have been a catalyst if, for whatever reason, and it didn't seem likely, but. And I'm going to explain what, what I'm looking at in the more intermediate term. But I had to put it in as a chance. And the only chance would have been to have a very small, maybe 2%, 1.5% risk for a trade. And this is only for the traders of my subscription to my opening call um, who thought that there was a chance that there could be a positive. And I did this before the mark, the 8.30 a.m. news. I like to do that. I used to wait. But I found it over the years, waiting is just dumb. You, uh, the market's going to do what it's going to do. Do your homework and just give the different parameters that will happen. Don't wait, because even after the market, things could change dramatically. So uh, after the, the economic news. So now what we're looking at is we've actually started leg D. Leg D is where you look, there's your leg D, and it went to a trough D, and it had a really nice rally. And I'm thinking we could have something the same. Now let me go to what I think most people are asking about. What's the intermediate term outlook? Well, the intermediate term outlook, and I'm going to use this. I've used it. Uh, we've used it very successfully for years, decades, actually. I'm going to try to do it again here. This is the, let me just get to this on the Dow. This is the Dow daily. Uh, why did it change? Did I? Oh, I went to a different one. Okay, let me go back. Let me get this, get rid of this. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I'll just keep to this because that's the way it is. This is the Dow Daily. And here's the, this is where we went short based on, on on balance volume and one or two other aspects to my technical te the techniques. This is where we got the confirmation that this was something more serious. And there was one day of green and then one day of pink. That's the nine period moving average went under the 14 period moving average. Now let's go to the weekly chart. No, 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 I'm going to stay with this just for a moment to go through them all. Look, here's the S&P, SPX.X, pink, negative, nine period moving average, sell mode, daily chart, sell mode, Dow, sell mode uh, for a while now, S&P, sell mode, QQQ, look, there it is. Not as bad, but it's still pink. IWM, been for a while, even longer than the Dow, it's been in a sell mode since early August. Now, SMHs, SMH, very important. Uh, we are short the SMHs from two points off the top, uh, <clears throat> all-time high, that is. And here it is, pink, but you can see it's rising. That means if it deflects lower, that's really negative. But now let's go to the weekly charts. So now the weekly charts, and this is why I'm, I, I, I'm comfortable saying that we've raised cash, but I'm looking, there are some positions that I, I'm liking. And we've we've attempted to be in, and we've been stopped out for small losses. But I, the couple here that I'm really intrigued with. But wait a minute, the weekly chart of the SMHs haven't hasn't yet. The green has not turned under the 14 period moving average. It's still green. The QQQ, it's still green. 
after all of this is still green. That's the weekly, the more intermediate term. The Dow, negative for two weeks now. IWM, negative for two weeks. Now, the SMHs, the semiconductors in my work, almost always lead the market up and lead the market down. So I'm watching them very closely because if there is a rally, it needs to take uh, into consideration NVIDIA, which has been pulling back. But look at that nine is still way over the 14 and we want to see what happens. But wait a minute, look at the HGX. This is the weekly chart of the um, Philadelphia housing index, housing sector index. So it's gone pink. So you're losing some of these aspects that we're really, look how powerful this was. Now you're starting to lose it. Now the, the payroll numbers, that's one thing. When you're talking about payroll numbers, um, it's something to keep in mind because that is really important. If you're talking about job numbers, that's important. And at the same time, interest rates, look at this, this is the TLT. Look at that, acceleration to the downside with the pink. This is a weekly chart of the um, 9, 914. And that just says, you got to be real careful here. This is a different scenario to what we've usually had. I'll be back in a moment. Dow is down 172. SMB is down 18. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So I, I'm going to go to this right now. I've got, I, I, once again, I've written down just a ton of questions that I had and stuff that I wanted to get to. But this is really a very important session. This is the 6th of October where... 
based on my work, based on the the hundreds of days to the left side from the May low to the August first high where we, where we went short, down to this bottom here, um, October the 6th is the number of days that matches exactly to the day where there should be some 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 kind of support. And if it holds above the left side support, uh, that's going to be important. So let me just show you this. In the Chapman Wave methodology, peak D is what we objective is to go from a buy signal to a buy mode using different techniques. Sometimes you can just have the naked chart. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Maybe next week I'll do a bunch of charts with a naked chart. But look at this. Here was a one-to-one -one from the 200-period exponential moving average in the 10-minute E-mini chart, and it went to a peak A. I wonder if I can squeeze this so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, oops, wrong chart. This chart right here. We go squeeze 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 there we go so this went from the lower 2 a.m this morning i wasn't up but it went to peak a peak b peak c and then it pulls back and i was up to see this move at uh, move, walk in the nine period moving average this green line um at 6 a.m and i watched it watched and watched it made a double top c1 c2 and then it continued high and then it went to a d that d was an exact measured move this is the Chapman Wave falling axe formation. Remember, this is the pattern I was talking about right here, for falling axe formation. Then we took out that high, that that higher trend downtrend line, and it said you could go to the previous peak. Well, lo and behold, it took it out. We went to the previous peak and then continued higher. So I'm watching this closely, closely, closely. <clears throat> and then we got to right here in the one-minute chart, and I was trying to do my work for today, my morning newsletter, my Traders Corner for the opening call newsletter. So that's the section that does all, yeah, you know, tells you what to do. And I'm watching, 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 and lo and behold, what happens in the one-minute chart? It go. I'm scrolling to the left. It goes into a long, narrow rectangle formation. This is a this is a a really important uh, pattern that I look at. Goes to a peak in the Chapman wave. The MACD starts to fade. The stochastic turns down. On balance volume gives you the exact high. Look at that, the exact high. Pulls back, but the price holds. And I'm waiting for it to go go from green to pink, um, actually at the 4304 level. The 4305.25 was the high. I, I did hit the button for a, a short position, and I, I actually – because I got back to being very busy with my work, I said, you know, I'm just, I have to get out here because I'm, I'm being distracted. This is such an important day. So I'm out and look what happens. It goes from 43.04 to today's low of 42.42. But that's fine. Yeah, we, we have plenty, plenty moves like that around. Not that plenty, but they're enough. Meantime, look what happened. It smashed to the downside. But if you look at the volatility, I haven't done that, but I need to now look at the volatility index. Look at this big rally that we've just had from the 10, 10 at low in the about the 42, 49 area. Here we are at 42, 82 in leg D above the 200 period moving average in the one minute chart. And finally, you're getting a leg B at the 200 period moving uh, average at the um, in the 200 period exponential moving average. Now, one of the things, one of the reasons why we went long as a trading position a few days ago, um, and it's held a stop so far, a tight stop, is because I'm anticipating that if this succeeds, just the sellout of just everyone throwing out, up their hands and saying, I, I, I'm done, this is, if, if you're in the bond market, the stock market, I mean, everything's going down. Usually bond market goes up when the market goes down. You're saying to yourself, geez, ah, this is horrible. Well, now let's look at the VIX index. And the VIX index, the volatility index, went to a peak C. Now, in the Chapman Wave methodology, I use this, the notation, only because I always notate all peaks and troughs that I see before me. Um, but this is not the one that goes to, I, I'm looking for a D. It could go to D. That's what I because it's an emotional barometer and it's measured it, just the way it's done. I just find that this is not what I. The only one that I do not at all use this, and often I use it uh, sparingly when I'm. You've got the inverse ET, the three times long or short inverse ETFs. That's where you can get a little bit of an aberration because of the makeup. But look at this. This is only a leg A in the weekly chart. It went to the 200-period moving average, and now it's pulling back. 
it went to a peak C, but this could be an alternate count. This could be, could not be. A, B, C, D. No, it couldn't be an alternate count. So this is a C, but it doesn't matter. Look, it's pulling back. This is exactly where you should start to see an acceleration where everybody says, oh, they tried to run in, they failed, and we went to a lower low. No, this is, so far, this is really positive. This is kind of what I'm anticipating is a chance that this could happen. And that is that this isn't the low in the market, even though I'm talking about it on the date-wise, just on this measured move. But it's some kind of a low, not the low, but a low and not j low. So what we're looking at here is the weekly chart did more than a one to one to the downside in the Dow. So this and the nines is still very negative under the 14 period moving average. I'm anticipating some kind of a bounce and then we should get some kind of a retest. And I would not be surprised if before it's all done that the SM, that the QQQ weekly chart actually does flip to pink in the nine period moving average, but it doesn't have to do that right now. So I'm not getting overly bullish or anything like that. I'm saying we are prepared. We are anticipating that there could be, and I'm looking at certain stocks that for me are kind of indicator stocks. So I'm looking at this and saying, is this the moment that there could be at least a decent bounce, at least a decent bounce? Hey, let's look at the XLF. XLF is the financials, holding down minus 6 at 3270. Not bad, considering the last few days, it's three green candles when the market has been so weak. But there is a pink, nine-period moving average S in the um, weekly chart of the uh, XLF. Uh, but it has, it's just on the 200-period moving average there. Shrani, that's going to be like a magnet for a little while. Let's go to the um, KRE which is the regionals. The regionals are, whoops, let me update that. There we go. The regionals. Hello, anybody else? Yes, there it is. A lousy chart, but at least it had a green candle Thursday, uh, Wednesday, a green candle Thursday, and today is like a doji candle down 61 cents. I'm just watching these and I'm saying, are we getting closer? Let's look at the GDX now. Is the GDX starting to improve? It's up 25 cents at 26.57. I, I'm going to venture to say that just on an oversold basis that we are ready for some kind of a bounce. I would treat it as a bounce, and I would have to see the SMH is up about two or three points. They're up 75 cents right now at 145.96. And by Tuesday, if this is going to be more than just a bounce, you want to see the SMH is over the high of the 2nd of uh, October, that's 147.27. That's only less than two points. Then I would say, you know what? The weekly chart of the SMH has saved the day because they went into the Chapwave inside track. What was a pro balance zone has become a rebalance zone. And that would be, that'll be at least a short-term part. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, back at the fifth hour. Bows down. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, so, uh, do I want to take this time now to do it? Yeah, I had a question about what happened to that uh, thing that you were talking about yesterday when you were doing Larry's show. <clears throat> um, was it doing, yes, about this left side, right side price time action that you were expecting the uh, 42 50 high of uh, 20 to 10 a.m. Eastern time uh, to be tested uh, at about 3 o'clock. Um, let me just check here. And it got exactly to that point in leg D at uh, 240 to 350. Okay, so yeah, just before three o'clock, it did it actually, it did it in one bar earlier than the time frame. And the Chapman Wave inside uh, wedge target resistance lines, little dash line, uh, it got broken twice. And then look what happened to that peak D. Ever since that D was made, we have, it took until this morning at about 6 a.m. to break that level right there all right and then it broke and it went to another d that was a peak d he has a peak d and now we started to pull back so this is uh same kind of pattern and i don't think we're going to be able to get to if we can go above and close for two out of three bars today especially this morning above the high of 840 this morning uh, 840 was the time a.m and that was 42.94 the high so far has been 42.85 or so if we can do that at any point, that says you've got yourself a nice base of support if there's a sudden pullback later in the day. Uh, but we need to see that. All right. So now we can go to all the stuff that I want to look at. Have I done everything in my an update? I don't think so. But So a question came in. CCJ, you were talking about yesterday that it was holding very nicely and that it had an alternate count and it went to the left side low. It broke it, the 36th level. And now it's bouncing a little bit. Where do you see uranium? What was the X? Is X? No, what, what's U, UCA? Why am I forgetting it suddenly? Uh, oh, why have I forgotten the uranium uh, ETF? Is it URA? URA? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that's, and look, today it's got an S, meaning that this extreme move that went from the 21 level, there's a global X uranium ETF, screams up to the 20, was it 8? 28.42 uh, high of the 28th of September. Now it's come down sharply, but it's trying to bounce a little bit. And now you've got a potential for a Chapman Wave Roman candle. Um, oh, let me talk about this Chapman Wave Roman candle right here. You see, this is a perfect one off a high. 
one bar or at the high or one bar after the high. And that says very simply, we haven't closed. This is not even an hour and according to the session today. But what we're looking at is if at any time in the next two bars, it's in the next two weeks, there is a move that I'm going to for a whole day. If there is a close below 2540, then we should be testing the low of around about 2431. If there are two closes in the next three weeks above the high of this week, if the high of this week is uh, around about 2699, and here we are, 262599. Um, is that right? Am I reading that correctly? That's a six. Yes, 2699. That'll be very positive. So that's the technique of the Roman candle, but we just saw it in the daily chart of, of the Dow. Chan Wave Roman candle, as I said to subscribers, we had a green one yesterday, uh, two days ago. And my rule of thumb is within two bars, if a sauce trade for 60 minutes, uh, it wasn't 60 minutes, but below, in this case, 32,000, if I can read it from here, 960 level, there's a real good chance we're going to test the low and maybe take it out. We just did that. We went to a lower low today. We went to a low of uh, 32,846. The last low was uh, 32,873. Now all of that is done. And it says now what's really important is in the next two days, you need to clo close over the high of the 5th of October. That was yesterday of 33,174. Uh, so that's the way my Chapman Wave Roman candle works. Maybe I'll have a session one of these days on the Roman. I have, I've spoken about it in my webinars, but maybe I'll actually have a webinar included. One, of the, one or two of these techniques we're always talking about. Yes, the U, 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 U had a very sharp pullback. That's a global, that's a Energy Fuels Inc. Uranium went to about nine, and then it turned down and went into the mid sevens. Now it's at 762. Yeah, it looks to me like we might have made at least a short term top in the uranium stocks. Yeah, UEC is the same thing. This is uranium co uh, uranium energy corporation. This is a much nicer chart. I've been talking about this for some time, saying this is the one that I really like. We've been long since 364 and hit 577, taking little bits off. You still got you still got a core position. I'm going to be watching this closely because so far it's saying with crude oil taking a huge dive. Oh, I haven't done the update. How can I do the update when I've got... So, folks, there's a, a chance. I'm going to do my re very best to see if I can arrange things to be able to do Larry's Hour at 1 o'clock today. It's a really important session. But I, I'm liking what I see. You've got crude oil down sharply. You've got jets, which is the United States... Uh, this is the United States Global Jets ETF. Horrible chart. There's your peak D. There's your one peak D. There's another peak D in the Chapman methodology. And now you've plunged underneath... Not all of them, but you're taking out the uh, March low, and now you're testing the uh, low of December. December, the week of the 30th, was a low of 16.58. And you've just made a low this week of 16.58. 16, is that a 16? Yep, 16.37. You went below it. Um, oh, not a good chart at all. So... There's a lot going on here, and I'd like to maybe cover that when I when I do the next hour. And as I said, so um, within that context, I needed to do, uh, so I did that, I've done that, a crude oil, I've just mentioned the crude oil. Look at that peak D in the weekly chart. The MACD is still very strong. Stochastic's now at 87%, still strong. On balance volume turned down. The 9 is still way over the 14. So you've got a sell mode in the, Daily, and I said that I've got an alternate count. And if I'm correct about the Chapman Wave, unconventional flat based restart that I typed in over here, uh, that was way back, uh, that was way back over there. That's right. We took out that left side low, and I said, oh, we've got to be careful. So um, we're now at 82, still way above the 76s, but it does have, I haven't got, this is just a, I haven't given you a I'll, over the weekend. I'll draw in. I'm not going to do that now. Um, the time sequence where I think the crude oil will be in about two weeks' time or a week or two. Uh, okay, that's that. Now we want to do the bonds TLT. So yes, this is not a mistake. It's not like I typed in here. That is, in fact, the bonds right there. It's gone to a leg after the downside. I was talking to Larry just a moment ago when Larry called in. Uh, he's, he's a lot better, but he's just not ready to do his show. Um, 
And now look at this. Okay. Look at this. You've got the arch formation. 9185 was the low in October. Rallies all the way to the 109s, and now it's showing at 84. I mean, this is, we've not seen this. And you remember, when I came to TFNN back in 2022, 2023, I said that, some years back, I had written a paper that was Barons wanted to do, uh, uh, do, but then Kathy Welling, I think it was the time, was editor. And she was very interested in us doing this to make a bull market to come. That was from 1987. And I spoke about the Japanization of our bond yields that someday we're going to go to zero, just like Japan. I changed that two years ago. I said, you know, I think that you've made some kind of a low and then we're going to change. I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Haven't had one chance to look down at all my notes that I want to do for Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this, I, I'm... I'm Pretty sure I'm going to be able to do the uh, one o'clock hour uh, for Larry, so we'll do that. Meantime, back at the ranch, this is, you can tell, there's a, there, now there's a fight between bulls and bears. The bears are saying, ha, 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 we've got the upper hand. The bulls are saying, yeah, but we're very uh, oversold, we should. And I'm looking at certain stocks that are doing very nicely here. In fact, some are up when you would least expect them to be. And um, so we want to do that. And also what I want you to do is in the um, 
if I do leisure, I'd like to do the uh, commodities because look at this, this is the DBA, a nice bounce off the low in the DBA Agricultural Fund. So I want to look at some of those commodities. But most importantly, this is what we're looking at. In the, to sum it up, just make it as simple as possible. Within the context of, let me go to this here. In the context of the weekly charts, it's important to note that the QQQ, the NDX 100, is holding really well. But on this uh, move that we're seeing right now, you see this, these, it's like a sandwich, big green can look, it goes green, red, green, red, green. What we are looking at is that the nine period moving average is still very weak, but it is trying to turn up. The histogram in the in the MACD is actually very close to turning up. The stochastics at 30%, not in the single digits or the uh, uh, um, teens, but in 30%, the on balance volume. So we are starting to see some kind of rotation where some fund managers are starting to. I, I, it, this is what it looks like. Starting to pick certain stocks. But look at that when we get back at the one o'clock time frame. Basil Chap and Tiger Day News to sell my services, the opening call. And uh, yeah, going to be an interesting hour. What is it? Two hours to go before one o'clock and we'll look at things again. So uh, Steve recorded his program this morning at 8. It'll be coming up next. And uh, 